Yeah, I think it's an interesting question. And I, I want to kind of just pick up on the word opportunities. Because you know, on the one hand, you can look at developed markets and you can see opportunities in terms of the big, the big brands um, or the amount of money flowing as, as a function of you know, the investment scene. Um, but it depends how you frame mm. opportunities, right? So I think also what I came for and what I stayed for has changed over time. Um, I'll touch on both of those. So okay. I think I came, mm. I think I came initially for the opportunity to accelerate my growth and learning through exposure to new places and people. It was less around mm. career. Um, and I think I, I had my eyes opened as to what that could be when I, when I spent my time in Malawi. Mm. Um, I think subsequently I, I moved to South Africa and um, I actually found it richer in opportunity. Um, and it was richer in opportunity as a function of a number of things. And primarily, and for better or worse, um, I found that my experience from the UK was mm -hmm. um, you know, more highly valued, for example, in South Africa mm -hmm. like when I got yeah. here. Sure. And that afforded me greater opportunity as a function of that. Whereas in the UK, you know, there's um, not, not that there's a hundred of me or a thousand of me, but there are more of me. Um, in terms of mm. you know, the experience that I had. And so that, that was valued and that gave me opportunity that I don't think I would have gotten. Um, I might have done like if I stayed in the UK. And I think being able to marry that with the um, exposure to the rest of Africa that has really dominated most of my career put me in a place where it was the best best lifestyle, you know, I was able to grow professionally whilst immersing myself across the continent um, in a way that was you know, a real dream, actually. Uh, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of how the opportunities changed over time, um, when I reflect on the opportunity now, what we're seeing is, you know, year on year investment, especially VC early stage investment in Africa like increasing exponentially. Mm -hmm. I think when you reflect on the opportunity across Africa based on the problems that need to be solved um, and the way in which they need to be solved in a different way to in developed markets, that's the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think that the world is waking up to that as a function of the capital we see flowing into the continent and across the continent. Um, it's, you know, recognized in the amount of people looking to start businesses and ventures. You don't start a business um, and a startup for the sake of it. You start it to solve a problem. And I think that across the continent, there's no shortage of problems. Um, but that, Stephanie, is, is the exciting piece um, because it's how you choose to frame those problems. And if you're able to marry you know, an entrepreneurial continent with you know, essentially the, the dry powder of investment coming in, um, I think it's an incredible time to be part of this journey um, on the continent. So mm. yeah. that's certainly what's, uh, mm -hmm. what the opportunity looks like for me at the moment and for all of us if we choose to take it. Yeah.